of our first First Alert Weather Day of the new year on Tuesday. And for some of those who don't know what a First Alert Weather Day is, basically anytime we see weather that's disruptive or dangerous, our weather team issues you when these alerts come to our area. Basically, we're not hyping up the storm saying it's the worst thing ever going to happen. Basically, we're just giving you more time, more on air coverage through the apps and even online to give you more information when the disruptive weather happens and talk about what is going on on Tuesday. Here is our severe storm setup. And so pretty much is very textbook what we see here in March and April. We have the warm front lifting up that warm tropical moisture down towards our south. This will bring the unstable air mass and all we need is something to trigger those storms and that trigger will be this cold front that will be arriving into Tuesday evening. So as we look at our future radar, you can see those scattered showers as we had a Tuesday morning, but then here comes that cold front as we approach Tuesday evening. You see the intensity of rainfall, heavy rain, and along with that gusty winds and yes, a low threat for a tornado. Talk about the upper level winds. There's a lot of energy uh, in the upper level atmosphere, 5,000 feet, 90 mile per hour winds. See that speed shear and anytime you get that speed shear, it helps a little bit of rotation and even severe storm development. So looking at the Storm Prediction Center, they have put uh, the, our entire Grand Strand and PD area under a level two risk for severe weather. Now, typically they don't really do this four or five days out, but this is showing a great confidence in seeing a strong storm or two. And talk about Tuesday's uh, weather threats, mainly strong straight line winds, 40, 50 mile per hour wind gusts along with that. Bands of heavy rain between one to three inches. And again, keep in mind with all the rain, what we saw today and even last week, again, we have to keep in mind with river flooding, especially along Waccamaw River and the PD River. And in addition with that, there, the tornado threat is low, but we're going to continue to keep an eye on that. Talk about the rainfall for the next seven days. The European model showing about one to three inches, while the GFS still a little bit higher, actually dropped down a bit, about two to four inches. So again, I expect to see one to three inches and keep in mind with the river levels right now, little PD still in the uh, swollen stage while the Waccamaw River is under that minor flood stage. And again, with all that rain that can intensify the river flooding. But right now here at home, things are calm and quiet and we're going to continue to stay dry tonight. Mostly clear skies and then for tomorrow, a little bit cooler in the 50s. We'll be quiet for now, but then the storms are turning as we head into Tuesday.